Hi. So just to recap before we get into this question, remember that we've got this uh, cone here and we're told that originally it was empty. We're filling it up now at a rate of 14 centimeter cubes per minute. And at any time t minutes, the height is given by x centimeters. Now, in the first part of the question, we had to show that the volume of this cone given by v was equal to 1 12th pi x cubed. And we're now being asked to find the rate at which the depth is increasing when x is 8. And this is a typical, what we call, connected rates of change question. Essentially, what we've got to do then is to find, let's just put it down here, find the rate of which the depth is increasing. That is, in other words, dx by dt dx by dt, okay, when x equals 8. So that's the basic question. And in order to get dx by dt, we'll just put it down here, dx by dt, which is a rate of change, we now connect it through the chain rule to two other rates of change. We put the dx here, so it's going to be dx by d something multiplied by the same d something by dt. So whatever we put here and here is as if they cancel out and just give us the dx by dt, the chain rule in other words. So what's it got to be? Well, it's got to be v, which is the connector if you like. So it's dx by dv multiplied by dv by dt. Now we have dv by dt. dv by dt is this, it's 14. We've got a rate of change of volume with time, okay? As for dx dv, we've got to work out that through this answer here. In other words, if we find out dv by dx, we can then invert it and substitute it in here. Get a formula and then we can say when x is 8, work out what dx by dt is. So we know that v equals 1 12th pi x cubed. We proved that in the first part of this question. And so it follows from this that dv by dx would be equal to, so differentiating this, 1 12th pi is a constant, just got to differentiate x cubed, which is going to be 3x squared. So you're going to end up with 3 twelfths pi x squared. Well, 3 twelfths is a quarter. Okay, let's just cancel that 3 out with that 12 there. It's a quarter, pi x squared over 4. So it follows that dx by dv would be 4 over pi x squared. Just invert it. So let's just come down here now and we can see that therefore, okay, dx by dt, just in general, is given then by dx dv, which we just said is going to be 4 over pi x squared, and it's multiplied by dv by dt, which is 14. And if you work this out, you're going to get 56, 4 times 14, 56 all over pi x squared. So all we need to do is just say, when x equals 8. When x equals 8, substitute it into here, and we therefore have dx by dt, the rate of change of the depth then, is equal to 56 divided by pi times 8 squared. And we've got to give the answer to two decimal places, and if you give this to two decimal places, it turns out to be 0 0.28. The units will be centimetres per second, okay? And this is given to two decimal places, 2dp for short. So I hope you've been able to uh, follow that. Brings us to the end then of this question.